Hi everyone, I'm Anthony and welcome back to this series about getting started using Steinberg's free music notation software, Dorico SE. Now our project is at a point that it can be performed, I'm going to show you how to print it or export it as a graphics file, such as a PDF that you can share with other musicians. Firstly though, let's sort out the title at the beginning of the music here. If you double click where it says Untitled Project 1, the text changes to this slightly strange arrangement of symbols with the words project title in the middle. That's because it's a token, a wildcard that looks up information that can be reused across the project. Open the file menu and choose Project Info. This opens a dialog where you can enter information used by tokens. Let's change the title to something like Song for Dorico. And then we can fill in things like the composer and the lyricist. Press apply and close the dialog and now the title, composer and lyricist information is showing in the score. We still have this flow one heading though. We'll cover flows in a later video. For now, we're not interested in seeing this and we need to set an option to hide it. Switch to setup mode and select the full score layout at the top of the layouts panel here. With it selected, click the cog button here at the bottom of the panel to open the layout options. Click page setup and then flows and set the option show flow headings to never. Press apply and close the dialog and the flow heading is no longer showing. Before we switch over to print mode, I would like to take just a moment to talk a little more about layouts in general. Dorico automatically creates a layout for each instrument in your project, as well as a full score layout that includes both of those instruments. It's the full score layout that we've been working on throughout this video series so far, and you can easily switch to look at one of the other layouts by way of this pop-up menu button on the toolbar. For example, let's take a look at the voice layout that shows just the vocal part and not the piano. And similarly, the piano layout doesn't include the voice, though it's more common that the pianist would use the full score in this sort of song project. We can open a second tab and then set a vertical split to see both layouts side by side. Making a change to the music in one layout affects all layouts. With that in mind, let's now switch to print mode. And you'll notice that we have our list of layouts in the left panel here. You can set the print or graphics export settings for each layout independently by selecting them in the panel. Let's print our full score layout. On the right, we want to make sure printer is selected as the destination. We can choose to send it to any printer we have set up. I'm going to choose the 7100N as I know it supports A3 printing. Set the number of copies you'd like to print. I'm going to choose two because I'm going to give one to the pianist and keep one for myself. We can tell Dorico to print the layout on individual pages as spreads or in booklet form. I'm going to choose two up. I want all pages. And then I'm going to select A3 for the paper size. Dorico will now print this two-page layout on one piece of A3 paper automatically in landscape orientation. I can press print and job done. As well as printing direct, you can also export a layout as a graphics file. And to show you how to do that, I'm going to select the voice layout. This time, I'll select graphics as the destination. Now I can choose between saving as a PDF, PNG, SVG or TIFF. I'll leave it as PDF. Set where you'd like the file to be saved and even choose how to construct the file name. And when we're ready, we can click export to generate the PDF. Better than that though, we can select both the full score and the voice layouts by holding down control when we click, that's command on Mac, and then initiate both the print job and the graphics export at the same time. When we save the project, all of these settings are saved too. So when you come back next time, you won't have to set it all up again. You can also create an audio mix down of the project by opening the file menu and choosing export audio. You can save the audio as an MP3 
or as an uncompressed WAV file. You can even export each player's music to their own file, essentially giving you stems you can work with further in a DAW or that might be useful for creating rehearsal tracks. So that's how you use print mode in Dorico SE and either print your music or export it to a variety of graphics files. There's lots more to show you though about preparing music for guitar or percussion and some great power user tips for taking working in Dorico SE to the next level. Do stick around for the next video. If you found this useful, please hit the like button below and do leave a comment if you have any questions. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.